Well, I have brought my detective skills to the set of Emmerdale because tonight, Robert Sutton will be shot by a mystery assailant. It's going to be the biggest case of whodunit in Emmerdale history. But who wants rid of Robert Sugden that badly? Maybe... The grid but shot off lover. Will the stress of lying over Katie's death prove too much? Or Chrissy, the wife he lied to, cheated on, humiliated? Maybe Chas Dingle. Will she seek revenge for wrecking her son's life? Or will it be Andy Sugden? They've been brothers at war for years, and Andy's just found out Robert killed his wife Katie. So, with this list of suspects, it's time to dig a little deeper. So it's quite clear to see that Robert isn't the innocent party in all of this. He's a wrong one, isn't he? He's a bad one. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's made his fair share of enemies, I'd say. And in all of this, you haven't even bothered to mention the fact that you killed Katie. There you go. <laughs> well, he didn't kill Katie. I'm, I'm very adamant about this. Robert didn't kill Katie. It was an accident. Oh, was it? And what will his brother Andy think? Could this be a motive for murder? When he finds out that you're the, the man that's responsible for a death, could he be the one to pull the trigger? He could be. He could He could very well be. I mean, if I had to, to bet myself... Tell the truth, Robert. He'd be odds on. OK, it's odds on for Brother Andy to do the deed. I've hated him. Uh, I've loved him at the same time, but especially of late, I've definitely hated him. Since his, um, his confession about the death of Katie... Did you kill her?! <laughs> Ultimately, it lies with me to, um, to make sure I get justice. Well, don't people go to the police for justice? Oh, yes, you have already. This is a, a clear case. He's, he's got the, um, the confession there, so he went straight to the police and told them what he's, what he's done. And he trusted him, he, he grieved with him, he watched him grieve, he'd saved him from, from suicide. And then to so suddenly be told this, it's, uh, it's absolutely heartbreaking for Andy. There really is no love loss between the brothers, but what about with wife Chrissy? From day one, he has manipulated her, hasn't Betrayed he? Betrayed her, lied to her. Yeah, all of those embarrassed her. Yeah. There was a scene last night and I took notes. I want to make everything right for the people he's hurt. Ooh. Empty threats? I don't know. Uh, Is it death what? to his part? I don't know. I can't say. This lady's not giving anything away. Maybe his on-off lover Aaron might hold some vital clues. For quite some time now, I think he's been literally just manipulating him and, and dragging him along, and, and uh, Aaron's been following along like a little schoolgirl. So um, that's the thing, really, isn't it? You know, if you if you love someone like that, then you just put up with all the the nonsense and the drama that comes with it. And there's certainly a lot with Robert. You called him a pathetic, money-grabbing coward, and he goaded you. Are you finally gonna snap? Well, I mean, it's 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 a good exit for a decent motive. Whatever it is, you know you can tell me. Robert kill Katie. Ah, maybe it could be a mum, Chas Dingle. Do you know what? She's kind of got it in her. She's definitely got it in her. Recently, she's just found out that Robert had something to do with Katie's death, that Aaron has kept a secret because Aaron was there after the event. So, yeah, massive motive. If something's to be done to Robert, she would easily put her hand up and volunteer. So what you're saying is you would do it. You don't come back from murder, Chas. They all seem quite keen to put an end to Robert Sugden, but what about Paddy, the lovable vet? Who wouldn't kill him, you know? There's, there's many, isn't there? What's your alibi, huh? Because he gets shot tonight. Where are you going to be? I go to a nightclub. Really? So, to find out whether this man finally gets his comeuppance, tune in tonight, try and work out who done it. Well, he's a very selfish character. He goes about doing what he wants, he thinks later, and the consequences don't really come into his, uh, his way of thinking. Um, and, and obviously that's going to rub everyone up the wrong way. And so he's, he's got all these people that are after him. Um, you know, his wife, who he, he had a, an illicit affair behind her back. Uh, her, fa her father, who he has uh, blackmailed and told that he's going to... Uh, he's not going to leave them alone until he gets everything he wants, the money. And uh, he's been, you know, quite horrible about some of the things that he's done. And so he's got all these people out there gunning for him to uh, get his comeuppance. How aware is he of how much the pressure is mounting and how seriously they're taking their grievances against him? How aware is he? Uh, well, he's had a few threats, but nothing really that I think he takes too seriously. You reckon his conscience will get the better of him? This is rubber. This is what he does. He lies again and again. Andy, please, just calm down. You expect me to be calm? He killed her, Diane! He killed my Katie! This is something that's quite interesting to me because he didn't actually murder Katie. He never went out and 
set out to murder Katie, but someone here tonight in this situation has actually gone out with the intention to shoot Robert. So it kind of, um, there's an interesting debate there, I guess, in terms of uh, your, um, you know, the consequences of your actions, because someone's done something by accident like Robert did with Katie, and then here's someone shooting someone to kill them. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. Tell us about the filming of the, the actual moment you get shot. What was that like? Yeah, it was, it was really exciting because we were, you know, we, we know what the, the outcome has to be. And uh, so we all stand around and kind of work out how it would happen and where everything would, would take place. And, and uh, it was, uh, I've, I've never done anything like that. So it's, it's always fun to do something that's, uh, that's, that you haven't done before. And, um, and yeah, was, you have this like a, a pack in here that has all this blood in it. And you have to be careful because obviously you don't want it to set off before you do the stunt. And um, yeah, and it just, it's like a cap gun. It was like a really high pitched kind of bang. And I didn't feel it, but then, you know, it just goes like that. If he's got a lot of beef with Robert, I think he's probably one of the, the main suspects, I suppose, because he's, uh, you know, he's kind of, he's, he's got the most motive to do it, I suppose. But, you know, it's, um, he's, he fell in love with him. He broke his heart. He used him, uh, used him and, and, he, and he's, you know, he's just cast him aside and wants to get back with his wife. And I think that, that's going to hurt a little bit. Along with just, you know, kind of the way that he speaks to him and describes how Aaron is, um, which I think is like a bit of a home truth for him. So he's, he's kind of the main, um, the main moment is, is given to, to, to Aaron via Robert that, that sort of gives him the, the motive to think, right, I'm going to end it. So. But he's wound so many people up in the village. It's not just Aaron. There's mm. so many people. Yeah, I think that's what's what's going to make it so so interesting, I guess, and so sort of um, mysterious, I guess, because nobody nobody knows who, who it is going to be, I suppose, and everyone's got their own little motive, like you said. Um, so I think it'll just be interesting to see how the viewers take it. Um, but like you said, there's loads of people who've done it. He's, he's you know he's he's robbed and he's uh, you know he's he's lied and, and and destroyed so many lives. So what's it like being part of something this big? It's great. Um, I think you know night shoots in particular are always a bit exciting. Cause it's not it's not normal within our schedule, so I think everyone's always got a little bit of buzz about. You know, everything's just a little bit different, and there's a different buzz on on set and stuff. So, um, so yeah, it, it's great. I love being a part of these kind of things anyway. You know, when there's a bit of action going on and the blue sirens and all that's kind of what soaps about in it. You know, all that full on drama. So, uh, no, I love it. Love it. It's great. And you know, like you say, there's, there's a buzz about. It's probably the caffeine. I'll be honest, but uh, but yeah, it's, it's good to you know have a good crack and get on with some serious work like we're doing. So.